All right, heading home from the uh, Great Pumpkin Race, 5K and one baller down in uh, Zealand Opal this afternoon. Uh, finished first overall in both. Um, it's an afternoon race. The one baller starts at uh, three. The 5K started at 3:20-ish. Um, I think it was a little couple minutes behind today, but not a big deal. Which is nice because. After Corey Shack last night, I got to sleep in a little bit. Didn't have to rush around. Well, I, I still had to rush around this afternoon to get here because I played around too much in the morning. But whatever. Um, it's kind of lackadaisical on the way down. Wasn't really feeling it. Was kind of tired. And even up to the race start, I was just like, eh. Was this a good decision to come down today? Because I wasn't just fully awake or motivated to even run but I'm definitely glad I came now uh, not just because I won but I like the crowd today everybody was really supportive it was a fun time um, so the for the uh, one mile to start it, this was at like uh, <coughs> benefiting, benefiting the St. Gregory School Church School or something I don't know, St. Gregory School down like Zealand Oval. I think it's like a uh, Christian school or something like that. I don't want to screw it up. But um, either way, it's like right behind there is where we started. We first run down a hill, start the race and head out towards some sportsman's club. Uh, and then come right back the same way we came. So like a half mile out and back wasn't too bad there was just like two turns maybe yeah two turns I think each way what three if you count the actual turnaround it's a very easy to follow uh, but on on the way out like entering the sportsman's club there was a couple cars you know trying to leave it and then I, I saw that on the way out and then on the way back as I did went around the cone the one car was gone, but there was another one there. Right, it was like in a dead stop. Right as I go around, you know, to try to get around it because it just stopped. It takes off, so I almost ran right into the bumper of it. And I just look at the dude. I gave him, I gave him the old Joe Biden. Come on, man. Like I, I, that's what I said to him. Like I was like, seriously. Man, I mean, the dude shouldn't have been driving if you if you're not paying attention to what's going around at you. Like I'm coming up on his back. Even though I'm coming off from behind, you know, if you see a bunch of runners, you should pay attention everywhere. Um, and I had it completely stop my momentum. I came to a dead stop there, you know, just because he did start pulling out and I couldn't do nothing about it because it's a little single lane bridge. So that just killed my momentum a little bit. And I took off after that, had to restart my whole body again, which sucked. Uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. Uh, so the downhill that we started with, we obviously had to get back up it. I wasn't really going for time, but I probably could have broken into the fours for the mile if I had to. But I was just unmotivated to do that because I had a little bit of a lead at the time. So I just decided to pull back and just basically walk it in. <coughs> mile for the win so I was probably like maybe 520 I don't think I was past 530 but I, don't know, I didn't really look at the results um, but then after like two more people finished there was this lady uh, came from the opposite direction that we were running so she was like driving towards the finish line so like this was this lady and this was the uh, people running she comes down and starts like running, driving through like the finish line. Everybody's like, hey, what are you doing? And she's like, ah. I'm like, seriously? I like, you hear people say, can't you see like there's people running and there's like a finish line? So what? Like, she literally tried to drive through the finish line, shoot, and over the timing mats. She didn't even try to go around like around the mats or around the finish line. She was going like straight through the shoots 
even when like people were yelling at her, she just couldn't understand why that she couldn't do that. Or she got all upset, and I'm just like, man, people are crazy, I guess. Um, so that was kind of interesting to see happen. <coughs> yeah, some people shouldn't just drive. Um, so then I had like 10, 15 minutes before the 5K start. I went up, back up to the car, uh, opened my Fit Aid real quick, took a couple sips of that. But after the one mile, my body finally got motivated and warmed up and actually uh, ready to go for the 5K. So that was a huge plus. It was actually ready to do something instead of just being uh, piss poor and lazy all day. That, yeah, we line up for the 5K. I think we actually started at like 323 or 24 range. There was actually a bunch of kids lined up in the first two lines. I stayed back because I wasn't really going to go for time. Just let things play out, let the kids sprint <coughs> right away and then see what happened. Because I knew they were all not going to last, so I just figured let them waste their energy and not... Uh, get caught up in the chaos in the beginning of the race which exactly what happened um, kids ran for like 20-30 yards and then immediately just fell back as I started to go um, as I used that little like downhill to start the race we basically went out the first half mile well not half yeah half mile same way we did for the uh, mile race. Made a couple of turns and entered at that sportsman's club. But this time in the sportsman's club, we probably went another quarter of a mile or so. Yeah, I think that's what I got. Give or take a tenth. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so there was cones to follow because we were supposed to stay on the right-hand side each way through the Sportsman's Club. <coughs> and it was something different today. You'll probably never see this anywhere else or haven't seen this anywhere for a long time. We actually used the, uh, a porta john for a turnaround. So that was a little bit different. Kind of a uh, neat little twist. Never ran around a porta john for a turnaround. Would have been funny if somebody was in there and they're like, oh, there's a bunch of people running around while pooping. Just something different and neat, I guess. Made my day. Uh, then we just, yeah, turned around in the Sportsman's Club, did that uh, three tenths back out of it. Um, the Sportsman's Club itself area was gravel. The rest of the course was uh, asphalt on roads in Zelenopol. So as we came back out of that Sportsman's Club, instead of turning to the right in the first intersection to head back to the uh, St. Gregory School. We actually went down one more intersection before making a right and uh, weaved around a couple blocks. It was a little bit hilly. I think there was three climbs, if I am mistaken. I'd have to look at the map again and see how many times we did go up and down different streets. But I think it was like three climbs, three descents <coughs> to get the five miles. But they weren't quick uh, turns, I guess is what you want to say. They were actually nice long, uh, a couple tents uh, stretches through town. So it wasn't uh, too bad to follow. Plus, not having that many turns made the course a lot faster on the downhills. Because then the uphills, you know, you would burn up a little bit start to feel your legs but then you'd flatten out and then go down the downhill to recover and get some more free speed um, so that's what I did I pushed through the uphills and then you just hit that uh, quick little flat section before you go around the block and back down and then the downhill I would uh, turn it up a little bit and try to gap the field as much as possible and uh, use the free speed to my advantage <coughs> Around 
2.4, 2.5 range. I looked at my watch and I was like, huh, I'm within a PR striking distance and I'm going downhill. So then I really put it on, tried to run faster and faster, drop it into the low fives uh, for the pace. I was like, ah, we'll see what we can do for a couple tenths here. Uh, you know, maybe try to get that PR. Then we, I went around the block because he finished on the uphill again. So I'm trying to pay attention, see what's going on, see what my time's going to be. Unfortunately, I would have missed it by five-ish seconds. And I, I saw I wasn't going to make it. So that last tenth of a mile, instead of running it hard, I basically completely pulled up and dropped down in a, like a 730 eight pace walk like basically walking it into the finish line because I had a nice little lead there and there was no point in me wasting a bunch of energy if I wasn't going to hit the PR I still came in at like the 1730 1740 range for the 5k which is pretty good for me especially on that course um, which is a little bit like I said a little bit hilly so yeah, with the three hills after the Sportsman's, I would say there's like four hills total. Nothing too drastic, just enough to get your legs burning. <clears throat> so maybe if I would have pushed a little bit, and I keep saying this in all these recaps, which is starting to aggravate me because I'm not going, I'm not trying to PR right now or go for time, and you know, at least not going into the race me mentally trying for a PR I, I keep getting closer and closer to that range with not trying and this is probably I don't know how many 5k's within the last month that I've been like in the 17's mid 17's range I would say at least a half dozen times over the last month month and a half so I'm definitely, I guess, in the peak range of training or whatnot. But now with winter coming, I'm probably going to slow back down since it's going to be cold. It was probably 60 at the race start today. So probably it's going to probably going to be the last really nice weekend for running without being cold. Because in the mornings, it's obviously like frosted over now during races so I, that's why another reason why I enjoyed the afternoon race because it was a lot warmer weather it was actually really beautiful today um, wish I would have been able to be out more instead of sleeping in and doing other stuff <clears throat> but, but yeah there was that so I'm kind of intrigued I really should try for a PR soon but it's probably gonna have to wait till spring because I just don't think weather is gonna cooperate anymore and then even trading you know it's kind of hard to uh, where I'm at to increase speed anymore it's more about just keeping your mileage and your base ready uh, for like the springtime now you know just keep it ramped up so that way you can jump in the spring and just uh, destroy and not lose any steps in the spring because you obviously lose some time and some steps now going in the winter um, it just happens with the cold at least for me it does you know I don't do well in you know below 30 but another plus of this I haven't told anybody yet uh, I don't even know if I want to tell people but I will today marks Number 40 and 41 wins for the year. Just something a little neat uh, to say I did. Not that I was shooting for it all year long as a goal, but I'm definitely gonna win more races this year than I can lose. So I'm over that hump. Uh, and it's just a little nice little thing because I'm 39, so having win. 40 races it's just like one to grow on type deal so I think last year I when I was 38 I won 38 exactly so 
just like one to grow just a little feather in the head just a little tidbit of information not that again I was going uh, to win 40 for the year but it's nice that I did um, but yeah other than that it was pretty easy to follow today there were signs at each intersection like on the post on each intersection not in the middle of the road just like on the post <coughs> and once you know like where to look they're pretty easy to follow which is nice there wasn't really any traffic on the course which was a huge plus and there was no vehicles blocking the uh the signage so it's not like you were getting lost plus there was a lot of volunteers today that you, when you actually had to make a turn they were pointing you in the right direction Again, another huge plus that you don't see too often. So like, most of the time, as you're running like on the straights, um, like the, even though there was uh, signs, but they were all like pointing you straight, they weren't really like pointing you left or right. And then when you did have to go left or right, there was always somebody there. Just another peace of mind thing that really helped uh, make the race pretty good today. They had a ton of food after the race. I mean, it was a full-on feast. They had all kinds of candy, gobs. Uh, it looked like fudge. I forgot to grab fudge. Damn it. They had pizza. They had tons of pizza. There probably had to be like 70, 80 large pizzas that they brought in for the crowd, which was way more than probably what needed to be um and the jenny lee's bread i got a loaf to take home uh, all kinds of candy and good food well maybe not healthy food but good food i couldn't believe how much food they had today um the people serving it were awesome just the people in general helping today were awesome and very friendly uh, joella put on another good race glad I got to come down and do both since it was like an hour and a half hour and 40 minutes and I had to take the stupid turnpike which I'm on now I hate that stupid PA turnpike just to try to save 15 minutes of time because I, I was uh, running behind when I left the house so I had to take the turnpike instead of going through Butler and Catanning <clears throat> but I got two cool uh, awards on one for each race uh, for finishing first and then uh, pumpkin pie for being first and it's not your normal nine inch pie it's like I would say it's double your normal size pumpkin pie so probably like an 18 inch pumpkin pie I got two of them for being first in each race well I got one for being first in each race so I got two total and a loaf of Jenny Lee's cranberry bread which I'm looking forward to uh, so it was definitely worth the trip for me. Talked to some people after the race. Again, it was a really nice crowd. People were cheering me on, you know, saying congrats to, to me after the race. Really good supportive crowd just in general. So that's cool. Um, other than that, glad I didn't stay home and watch the Steelers because I heard they lost. So, eh. Sucks for them. I think that's it. I just gotta decide what I'm doing next weekend now because I'm doing the Indiana Roadrunners uh, in first marathon. Well, I'm signed up for the marathon, but I'm also gonna be doing the first leg of the relay for the marathon for a uh, team. But if the weather's bad, I'm only just gonna do the relay, so I only have to run six miles instead of 26. But I gotta figure out what I'm doing the day before. Probably gonna do Morley's. Just not sure if I'm gonna do the five or 10. I'd rather do the 10 miler. But I also don't wanna burn myself up for the marathon in case I have to do it. The full 26. Be stupid to run 10 miles in a race setting before a marathon the day before. But if you know me, probably do the 10 and then do the marathon because why the hell not? And you know I can recover in between as long as I'm smart. So anyway, have a good day.
Happy Halloween tomorrow to everybody, and see you guys soon.